Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Mukeman and today I'm going to be showing you guys some Rocket League gameplay and specifically I'm going to show you guys my grind to champion. We're getting awfully close guys. We had a rough day the other day and we ended up going back down to All-Star Division 4. I was so butthurt, but we've managed to work our way up playing with this guy right here. Clutch 707. We've been grinding and we do some awesome shit like check out this school, check out this school. Nice. Freestyle it. Put it right past that guy. But anyhow, me and this clutch guy, he told me um, he used to be a super champion. And I didn't know this, but partied up with him. We played a couple of games. We were completely destroying. We ended up getting like amazing plays, which you're probably going to see a couple of in the near future. We do some cool shit. But me and him, uh, we have great team chemistry. We've been working together really well. We're always like in good position for each other. Like right there, he knew I was upfield on the left side. Tried to set me up with an amazing pass, but unfortunately, he got stuffed. But we've just been playing really well together. And today, we actually got up to Superstar Division 3. So we're really, really close to getting into champion. But I think he's still All Star Division 5 or something. But he's really good for an All Star Division 5. And I know he can definitely help me get up to champion if we keep playing together the way we have been but we've been doing awesome together so hope you guys enjoy the video and if you do make sure you drop a like leave a comment and subscribe for more upcoming content but let's keep rolling with this clip um we're going to show you guys the full match right here in case you guys are wondering what the gameplay is up here it's pretty fast paced and the ground or <clears throat> the ball doesn't always touch the ground like a lot of people keep it up in the air. It gets pretty intense, but right there I try for an air drip, but unfortunately the ball is going a little bit too fast, and I got stuffed, and he hammers an aerial the whole way across the field. Had to give him a nice shot. That was an amazing shot, so props to him for that. Perfect shot, 72 miles per hour, and unfortunately teammate wasn't quite ready for that. Wasn't able to make the save, but... Anyhow, I'm really hoping to get the champion. Um, today, when we were going in his rank up game, I believe, we played a grand champion and a champion. So, we don't know what was up with that. But, unfortunately, we did not win that game. They were really, really good. But, we could have beat them. But, we screwed up a couple of times big time. Cost us a couple of goals. And, we ended up losing by a couple of goals. But, uh We'll be coming for a grand champion soon. So, <coughs> right here they pull ahead of us. It's 2-1 right now. But no sweat. These guys are pretty good, especially that guy who's scored both of their goals so far. But we're not going to let that get to our heads. We're grinding, trying to get the champion. We're going to get this win. We're determined to get this win. And you're going to see some sick plays coming up later in this video that got us through this win. But... Try to pinch it in the middle. Doesn't work too well. My teammate is a little far back and the pass is a little too hard. So that didn't work. He dribbles, gets it past the first guy and pinches it beautifully upfield. Sends in a good pass. I go up for it. Bad angle. Hits off the wall and I bury it right in the top corner. Probably one of the best goals that I've scored. He set me up with an amazing pass. It tipped off that wall and I dunked it right in there. Just like that, we're tied 2-2. Two to two. Up in these higher ranks, I've noticed that if you don't stay around for first touch, it can definitely screw you over in the long term of the game. So usually when my teammate's going up for a first touch, I, I usually just stay right behind him, ease up to the ball, and if it pops out, I try to get a good shot. Right there, I get a terrible whiff. I don't know what my game plan was, but it screwed us over. And just like that... Uh, they took a 3-2 lead on us, and that's where my tweet came in from the other day. Every small mistake matters, especially up in these high ranks. People will capitalize on every mistake that you make, so definitely make sure you, you don't make many mistakes. It's, it's hard, but just got to keep growing as a player, making as few mistakes as possible, and you'll definitely succeed to the best of your ability. But the more you play, the better you're going to get, and that's how it really goes on this game. My teammate comes in with an air dribble. I try to jump up and get a good tip on it, but I didn't want to go up too high. 
and smack it right back in his face because that could have definitely screwed us over. So I definitely wasn't going to do that. Right here, I get a nice little bike, keep it in that corner. Teammate sends it upfield, lasers it from a bad angle. I don't, I'm not sure how he even hit it that hard, but that was great. He tied it up. It's 3-3 right now. Look at this. Flips right into it perfectly, 54 miles an hour from full field while it was rolling on the ground. So impressive shot coming out from my teammate. And it's 3-3 with exactly one minute left in the game. So this is where it definitely gets exciting, especially up in these high ranks. I'm not going to lie to you. The next goal is probably going to be the game winner. And I think that's how it turns out to be in this game. But right here I see a chance to score. I tip it up. Teammate comes in hot, gets a perfect flip, and puts it right past both of their defenders. For a perfect goal. Look at this play. A little pop up. Teammate sees that I popped it up a little bit. He goes over for it and buries it. We take a 4-3 lead with 42 seconds left in the game. Me and my teammate are tied and score. Perfect chemistry going on. We both got two goals. Both got two assists. We're playing really well as a team right now. Unfortunately, we made a few mistakes and gave them three goals. But it's not going to be a big deal through the rest of this game. I flip it into the middle, hoping that he goes down in the middle, but he stayed up on the wall thinking he had to play it. Demo this guy, circle back to get some boost, trying to kill some time. We've got 18 seconds left in the game. He pops it up. I think about going up for an aerial, but I decide it's too risky, and I don't want to cost myself the game because I went up for a dumb aerial at the wrong time. So I tap it back up on their side of the field, send it in the middle. He launches it upfield. This guy sends it up. And it hits the ground, and just like that, we got our next win, and this puts me at Superstar Division 2. Later in the night, we ended up getting to Superstar Division 3, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more upcoming content, but for now, Mook ran out.